Hi, my name is Darren Winterton. I work for ST Microelectronics, and today I want to do a video on getting started with our VL53L1X. This is the evaluation board uh, that you would order. It's called a P Nucleo VL53L1A1, and it comes with two packages one which is a nucleo board for the STM32, and the second is our main expansion board for the VL53L1X. Plus it comes with two satellites and it comes with two different types of cover glass and some spacers to change the air gap for the cover glass. So let's go ahead and open it up and we'll start putting it together. We'll start with the, the STM32 Nucleo board and it has a standard Arduino connector, the actual adapter board itself. So on it, it has uh, our VO5301. Please note that it's got a sticker placed over the top of the part. Uh, this sticker must be removed. Um, it's just protection to make sure dust doesn't get in to the laser or the receiver device, but just peel off the tape and then you'll expose the part where the, the pin one side uh, is the later laser pixel and the left side is the receiver. To plug it in, you make it so you see the hole on this fits the buttons on the actual nucleo board. You fit the pins to match and you push it all together. So now the board is ready to be plugged in. As I said, there are a few extra accessories put in here. We have some uh, standard cover glass, which fits the cover glass holder put on the board. Uh, so you can do some crosstalk testing of, with our cover glass or whatever material you'll be using in your final product. So at this point, before we plug in the board, we want to go to the PC. To download the GUI, uh, let's go to the webpage called www.st.com slash time of flight. So on here, scroll down to the V53L1X and click on it. And on here, it's gonna offer you many different things. We're gonna go to tools and software. On this page, we're gonna scroll down. So we're gonna click on the P Nucleo 53L1A1. Scroll down again, under tools and software. And here we see the image STSW-IMG008. This is the GUI for the 5301X. So we're going to click on it. And again, we scroll down to the very bottom this time, and we say get software. At this time, it's going to ask for a license agreement. And then uh, if you already have an account, you can just log on and register. If you don't have an account, you can just type in your name and email address and register uh, to log in. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. So now we're on the page and it should automatically start downloading the software. And you can see down here in the corner it has. It's a 90 meg file, so it'll take it a little bit to download. So now that we've downloaded uh, the, the software, let's open the zip file that we downloaded. Inside you'll see a user's manual and a setup.exe. When running this, make sure to run it as administrator. Uh, this is very important to make sure that it'll work. Um, and it will install all the necessary applications needed for this program to run on the PC. So we just keep clicking Next and Install. Next, Finish. Accept all license agreements. And Finish. And Finish. Now that uh, we've completely installed the program, we can go ahead and run it. And the first time it comes up, these, the actual firmware not, will not be installed in the board. So what we want to do is click on the About button, um, and you can click on the Flash firmware. What you should see is the red light blinks green while it's actually installing the software on the board. At this point, it should come back and brings me to this screen, which is the screen for us to go ahead and uh, start ranging on the board. All you have to do is click on the Start button, and put your hand in front of the device and you can see that we're easily ranging my hand uh, and this can range uh, up to 2.1 meters as it's seen in the ceiling right now. If you have any questions on the GUI itself, uh, if, you, if you go back to the About tab, uh, there's a software users menu, you can click on this and it loads the PDF file uh, of the actual operation and what all the different buttons mean for the GUI. So you can run that at any time uh, just to, to know what other features the board can do. If you have any other questions, please do not hesitate uh, to go to www.st.com slash time of flight 
or contact your local sales representative. Have a great day.